I forgot what this game is. Uh, 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 uh. Mario 64 HD, right? Super Mario Odyssey? Odyssey. Odyssey. Heisei era. I'm not kidding. Hey everyone, welcome back to Mario Odyssey. Last time. We finished up the late kingdom by defeating the Brutals that stole the wedding dress. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the wedding dress back. Ha, ah, sigh. But this time in Mario Odyssey, we're actually heading off to a new kingdom. But first, we have to finish things up here. Like going down here. And going to the shop. Because, you know, I love getting me some nice, um... Nice collectibles. Okay, we're just here for the dory, to be honest. There we go. And over here? The 100 coin mission in this game is interesting. Because technically, you don't need to collect 100 coins for a, a moon to appear. You get 100 coins, and then you go to the shop and buy it. So here it is, here's a 100 coin star. Yeah. Oh, moon, in this case. Well, you know what I meant. Shopping in Lake Limog. So, wait, 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 what do you feel about this? Because this game is different where you, have to, uh, you, where you have to collect a lot of currency in this game. I don't mind it, personally. Personally, I think it makes sense why they did that. I, 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 I'm not gonna complain. Because honestly, and, and kind of, it kind of fixes the problem 64 and Sunshine had, you know what I mean? With collecting 100 coins. <laughs> you don't need to worry anymore. Because, um... You, need, you don't need to worry about the placement of it. Because you just go to one place. So, I don't mind that. But, now we have more moons. And we have 54 in total. And the Odyssey has powered up. Alright, we're heading off to a new world. Gotta go to Yokshade Galaxy. <laughs> there are no galaxies in this game. <laughs> because we're all on the planet. We could reach the Wooden Kingdom now. Maybe Bowser's there. Alright, you ready to go to one of the, my favorite levels in the game? Technically, mo uh, pretty much all of them are my favorite levels. <laughs> but, are you ready to go to one of my favorite, favorite levels? Because this one is actually kind of cool. Ah, we're flying in the sky. I will always love Mario peeking right there. I don't know why. That just that just looks nice. This game is brought to you by Peggy. Peggy Carter? Not kidding. Whoever heard of a wedding with a stolen dress? Let's go after that tactless fiend. Seeing as we have some time to kill, let's not see the... Oh, also, Jeremy. Dory. Ha <laughs> ha. We got... So cute. Indeed. Well, that's it. Now let's see the Wooden Kingdom. According to this guide, there's a giant tr greenhouse filled with flowers. It's famous for its beautiful bouquet. Well, we know what, what Bowser's after. Uh, I'm going to try and shorten the map as much as possible this time around. Welcome to the Wooden Kingdom Steam Gardens. And the song here, it's just... <laughs> Unfortunately, all right, we have to head off to the Sky Garden. That's pretty much our basic. What is Sky Garden a name for the galaxy? Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everyone to the brand new world. It's Wait. a whole new world. Wait, do you hear something? In. Pokemon Joe Toe. I have to go and um. We didn't get new cop. We need sixteen. That tells you that this world is kind of bigger. Let's do it. I'll have the size is wide, so this is one of the bigger areas of the game. The locals are the steam gardeners. Here they are. Locals are a bit off putting but friendly. Visitors are welcome not only by the human air, but worker robots tending. They're known as steam gardeners, longtime residents of the kingdom. Ahem. The currency is nut are basically nuts and bolts, pretty much. Whoa. Not the game though. <laughs> the average temperature here is 82 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's more hotter here than it was in Lake Kingdom. That's kind of surprising. Nuts and bolts, probably the only, one of the only things that are worth negative amount. The industry here is flowers. The living factory here is actually a factory here. Birds are not a feather. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go and um, look over here. Flowers, a way of life. 
there are flower gardens everywhere. A deep wood secret. It doesn't appear on any tours, but there's an area untouched by machines and steam gardens. Bring, bring a pith helmet if you're exploring here, and a growing walkway. Be sure to try our system of paths called Flower Road. Three Kings of the Kingdom, smell the flowers. Not that you can miss them, but do savor their scent. Admire the steam gardeners and their impressive devotion to their work, and appreciate machines and nature's living in harmony. Ice mountains. We're, we're, in, the, we're in the Rockies in, of Colorado? No, we're not. <laughs> oh. In fact, uh, this I love I love this area so much. Like this, like this world is big. Okay, this this platform you're on kind of reminds me of something from Stone Hill. What I oh, it's Stone Hill? Oh, 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 yeah, from Spiral Two, right? Spiral One. Oh, okay, Stone. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I knew that sounded familiar. But yeah, this world is like really big. And what what I love about this game is because look look at the geometry we're on right now, and you're expected to go over here. By the way. To get all these coins and all that. Oh, it's so good. This reminds me... This game is it's like Mario 64 HD, but not a remake of... You know what I mean, right? Yeah, like a spiritual yeah. successor to all of, all those ideas. And it's just really good. Like, right now, we're going over here when we, when, when we don't need to. Like, pretty much. We don't need to go here at all. This is reminding me of one of the, of one of the worlds in my career. I don't know why. Actually, this guy is important because, because he'll actually... Look, check it out. You actually get stuff with this guy, so... He's literally a piece of cabbage. This is the unique enemy for this world. Who, who lets you just extend up. And here's a star. Moon, moon, sorry. Top the... the see, it's addicting, you know, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're like, oh, oh, okay, okay. So, so that's what it was. I was looking for those nuts and bolts. Uh, I don't. I forgot the costume in this world, but considering it's Mario Odyssey, I assume it's like really useful. <laughs> I don't think you need a costume in this level, though. Like, look at this place. You could go over here, like just over here, and do anything you want. It's great. Uh, yeah. This is, yeah. Th this is um, the Odyssey is over here. So we just went in a circle, which is fine. Because, you know, I like collecting this stuff. That sphinx over there is totally not um, uh, out, of, out of place. Uh, it's not. Okay, uh, look at this thing. Keep keep note of it later. Also, remember, you need, um... You're gonna need moons. To, to move on to the next stage. So that's the reason why I kind of stop and go. Because, um, you know, I kind of need to finish the game. And I need moons. 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 Ah, uh, what else? Ah, uh, let's meet the locals. Recent events has initiated my panic and spin routers. Panic and spin. A server of a monster is illegally accessing our flower supply. Are these guys better or worse than Gearmos? Ah, uh, they're basically better Gearmos in my opinion. They're really cute. The reason why I say they're better is because they're like, they're they work hard at their job and they're uh -huh. like really adorable. Yeah, see, like, look at these guys. Initiating first greeting dialogue. There are two types of coins. Blah, blah, blah. Spend money! <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember this. Oh, man, what the heck? <laughs> Scientists that... Oh, dang it, we need... I'm gonna buy both... I'm gonna buy all of these, by the way. I just have to. Uh, let's... Let's buy this first of all. There's enough coins in this world. There's, like, 100, I think. Or 200, I don't know. I think 200, maybe. I think this is new though, I don't remember this. Either that, or I've barely been here. To be fair, I beat this game in an entire weekend. So, <laughs> it may be fuzzy. First we were Western Land Mario, now we're Mystery Land Mario. <laughs> hey, this level is way better than Mystery Land, so don't worry. Though, though we have them, uh, the, though we have them, oh, uh, man. a long sleeve. The mechanic. <laughs> This game references so many things, it's funny. <laughs> oh, dang it. Uh, let's buy this later, okay? We'll use this halfway through the world, because this level's kind of long. 
Do you know of a me? Oh, dang it. <laughs> Remember, coins turn into purple coins turn into normal currency when you when you collect them. So don't worry. And uh, we have a random Sphinx over here. It's totally not out of place. Actually, we have to. We kind of have to go over here. Greetings, traveler, and your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What does the Bowser monster want from this place? Obviously, he wants water. It's flowers. <laughs> you are correct. Perhaps that wasn't much of a riddle. Anywho, proceed. Turn on the riddle dogs from haunted tomb already. I don't remember this Sphinx. Probably because I just move on. Alright, let's go. Oh, hold up. <laughs> More coins. How many minutes are we at? Ten minutes. Dang. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Wow. Oh, we didn't really get started in this level yet. That's Mario right. has a backpack and he can jump yet. Captain Toad can't. <laughs> Mario's stronger than Captain Toad confirmed. Oh, uh, nothing in here. I mean, Toads really can't really jump. Backwards somersault? Oh, dang it. <laughs> Oh, I could have done that? Okay. Here's where the music comes comes in. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I love this song. Oh, man, it's so good. No! This song is so good. Original Batman. Please come back. Alright, we're at Iron Road Entrance. First off, we're gonna get more of these. Yeah, there's 100 points. Okay, that waterfall reminds me of Idol Springs. Now I, now, I don't know if we should go for the 100 coin in every mission, though, to be honest. Because honestly, I kinda wanna buy other stuff. So we're not gonna buy 100 coins every time, so don't worry. It appears. The monster's minions are still on top of that tower. I worry about the flowers we're going there, but what can we do? I love this game. Uh, yeah. Well, we could have done... We could have done that easier. Also, we should go in that pipe. Here we go. Uh, what's in here? I forgot. Oh yeah, the water level, that's right. Drain pump. <laughs> We're back in our plumber roots. Despite the fact Mario isn't really a plumber anymore? Did they take that back? I forgot. I mean, him and Luigi did, did, did do some plumbing in 3D No, 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 I meant like, rec like recently. Oh. Like they said Mario isn't a plumber and then they took it back, I think? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think they did take it back. Also, that's a, that's one of the easiest um, alternate moons you can get. <laughs> like it's a secret, right? But I just they had the, they, they like they had these kinds of levels in New Super Mario Bros. DS and Wii. Oh, you mean the pipe stuff? Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. Like it's so weird. New Super Mario Bros. DS had like actually new stuff in it, and then Wii was more traditional, right? Mm -hmm. I don't I, I don't mind that because it's the first game to do it. But then you get two and and Wii U that doesn't do anything unique. And I'm like, how? Considering DS did, did normal, did unique stuff. Dang it. I, I mean, you could say that that 2 had the special worlds, and then you had um, uh, the Mario World style world map. I guess, but even then, the, the Mario World style map is kind of not, doesn't really matter in that game. For different reasons. Because it doesn't feel like it's interconnected. It just... You just go from one world to another. Doesn't matter. Uh, how many minutes are we at? Fourteen. Sweet. Uh, you can break these blocks with this guy. So something I find weird. What's up? In New Super Mario Bros. DS, uh, the drain pipe level was actually in World Two of all levels. Dang it! I wanted to get him over here. You'd expect to be in World Six, but no, it's in World. It was a World 6 in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which I find more fitting since the mountain style technically replaced, um, Pipe Land. Yeah, I would have liked a Pipe Land in HD more than, um, what you got in the mountain. 
Okay, uh, let's move on. <laughs> because, uh, how many minutes are we at again? Because I, I just now we're 15. Okay. We could go a little bit longer. It's just that I'm just trying to, you know, make sure we're getting on task. Because ironically, yes, we're not on task all the time. I, I never been here. I'm not kidding. I don't, I, I don't remember this place at all. Or maybe Fire I'm, Bros. Fire Bros. Or maybe I have been here. I don't know. It's been, it's been a while. By the way, let's get this hashtag going. Hashtag Ice Bros for Sluggers. Ice Bros. But there's no Sluggers game. There's no new Sluggers game. There will be soon. Fire in the cave. <laughs> Get over here. Look, I'm a spinning cap. Mario looks so fat with this gear, though. Like, I have to admit. More than he already is? Yeah, I don't know why. Well, I mean, he doesn't look fat in this game particularly, but he, you, you know what I mean, right? I think it's the backpack. It's the backpack. No, that's the only reason why I'm saying the backpack. Like, he looks skinny in everything else but, the, but this. Also, Goop. It actually does hurt you, so I guess you're right on that. Uh, we're just gonna... Hmm. Who knows, maybe Mario did get to, to that diet after all. I mean, of course he did, considering he has all his moves back, back in this game. Uh, that's it, right? Yeah. Okay, so over here we actually have some something kind of cool. Check it out! We actually have some unique platforming over here. Ah. Don't destroy everything, though, because you actually have... Destroys everything in their first world. Well, well, you shouldn't, because there's actually a unique thing there. And also, you kind of need all these things to move on, so remember that. Oof. Whatever. I'm just gonna do that. taking all this because I kind of, you know, I want everything. Uh, how many minutes are we at? Uh, 17. 17, uh, uh, we could do a little bit more. By the way, I would like to mention this story. So, so Mario 64 DS only has eight directions, even with the circle pad, right? Yeah. Crash Bandicoot, remember, it doesn't, you, there's no analog support, but you can still move 360 directions when you're playing on an emulator. Okay. And the original Crash Bandicoot predates the DS. There we go. So that's kind of weird. Flower Thieves in the Sky Garden. That's the next mission, but I think we're going to call it a part, like, uh, what time is it? Like, not, not the time there, the time. Hmm? Next time we meet everyone, we're gonna get across. Yeah.